Hello, Mr. Keefe here again for another tutorial. Today's tutorial is gonna be on using pages for your iPad. Now this tutorial can actually be used for you, the teacher, but also could be one that could be useful for your students as well as they learn to navigate pages on the iPad as well. After saving the template from Teams for the Sherman Showcase, you'll then want to locate it on your iPad and go ahead and open it. When I click on the template, it'll give me this pop-up asking me to add it to the template chooser. If I click on add, which I strongly suggest, it will then import it into your templates, which will allow you to create a new document at any time using this template. To do that, just go ahead and click on it and it will open up and there you go. You might get this pop-up that says this document has missing fonts. You can hit show. It's telling you that a couple of them are missing and then just go ahead and click done. Now, when you're within pages, there are a lot of different options for how you can use pages and where the buttons are. This is not like Word in the fact where everything is laid out for you, but it's actually pretty simple to navigate. So I'm gonna actually go back to documents and I'm gonna create a, just a new document by doing this plus button right up here. So I'm gonna click the plus and then I have my templates to choose from. If you see here, I have the Rise of the Machines template available. But for this, I'm actually gonna just go over and click on this one to create a new one. With Microsoft Word, you have all the options available for you. But with Pages, you actually have to click on the item that you want to edit or format. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the title. Now once I click on it, you'll see that it highlighted the whole title and I could just go ahead and uh, change it by typing in what I wanna have. So I'm just gonna say pages on iPad. And when I click out, it is set. We wanna make sure that it's all selected, much like you would do on Word. So I'm just gonna drag with this, or if I click and hold with my finger, this comes up here, then I can just drag this over, and you'll see this button right on the right, it's named style. If I click on style, it's gonna copy the style if I wanted to, but because everything is highlighted, now I can go back up to the paintbrush, click on what I wanted to, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a gradient, and let's change this angle on where I want it, and then I can click out and there you go. Also, when you click on it, if I go back up before I even change anything, this is where I can change any of these options. I'm gonna change it to red or gray. I'm gonna go back to this right here. I'm gonna to go to the text. I can change the font size and you'll see it moving along with it. I can change where it's justified, right, left, center, or square. I can change any of these that we have available to us, much like you have on Word. However, you do need to remember to select what you wanna change the style of first. Another thing that's really cool about Pages is it, it can incorporate any photo and even video that you have saved on your iPad. If I go ahead and click on the picture, it then brings up all of the um, options with the picture. Now that it's clicked, if I go back up to the paintbrush, I, on, I wanna make sure it's on image, and then I can replace the image right here, and it'll allow me to choose a picture or, or photo or video. I can actually take a photo or video or insert from, so if I downloaded and saved a picture to the iPad, I could do it from there. Also in this style guide, you can change the mask of the image. So that's kind of like your crop. Instant Alpha will actually remove a color if you want it to. And if I go to the style, I can choose from any of these different ones. So if I wanted to add a border, I'm gonna go ahead and click on here. I can change the style of the border. So if I wanna do, let's do a uh, one with the tape. I can go back here. It has its scale. I can make give it a shadow if I wanted to. I can also change where I want the shadow. 
and I can give it a reflection on the page as well. Now this is kind of cool because of the different uh, styles that the kids might want to use this for, and it's fun to, fun to look at. As within any of the other documents here, if I just move my cursor to a spot, so I'm actually gonna to go to the end of this document to show this, and I'm just gonna move it down. If I click on the plus, this is where I can insert a lot of different things. So again, I can insert photo or video, camera, recorded audio, video from the web, gallery, and so on. There's also different shapes that you can use. There's basic shapes, geometry shapes, objects, Mr. animals. I'm gonna go ahead and go plus, and this will add any kind of objects. Now this one here will allow me to add different shapes, so I could add in a, a page if I wanted to. And just like before, once you click on it, you can go into the style and actually change the style of this icon that we made. I can go in and add a picture or video camera. You can also add in a graph, a table. There are many different options with just hitting this plus button. Now because we have an iPad and we have the Logitech crayons, you can actually use it on here to add a drawing in as well. If I was to just simply click on here with my pen and it says tap anywhere to add a drawing. So if I did this, I could change what color I wanted. Let's say I wanna make it green and I'm gonna click in here and I'm just going to do our hashtag great to be Now, yes, my handwriting is not the best, but you get the idea there. Now, another thing with the Apple Pencil or Logitech Crayon that is actually really cool, if I click at the top where I have the three dots, I can then go down to where it says Smart Annotation. What this will allow me to do now is with the same pen, I'm gonna go down here and I want to again make sure that I have smart annotation turned on. I can actually highlight on top of the page. So in, I could just write on top of the page. So again, to do that, I went up to the top three dots and I clicked on smart annotation. So I can add annotations with the highlighter or a pen if I wanted to. And if I hold on this and I can click on pen. I want to change it to right there. And I could actually just write on here and say something along with it. So that is great for other options as well. Lastly, on pages, when you are done, you are going to want to make sure to click on done at the top. And what's really cool about pages, there really is no save button. So if I went back to documents, it's just gonna save it right where it was, right in the folder that I'm on. And if I go back into it, it'll open up right where I left off. So you don't need to worry about hitting save. Now, if you let's say we made a major mistake and we deleted something on accident. Remember, if I just went back to documents, I could create a new one off the template or I could just use this button up here, which will be the undo button. This one here on the left is just your table of contents. Unless you're creating a book that will not be needed. This one right here will give you some view options that you can use on here if you would like. And along the top right, again, we have the three dots. This is where you could export your document as a Word file if you need to. Uh, you could set many different things on here, many different settings. And then this one here on the right will allow you to actually just view the document that you made without editing it as you go. And then I could just click on edit to get back in and edit my document. Well, hopefully that video is helpful for you. Uh, if you would like any more help or have some questions about pages on the iPad or pages on your MacBook, please don't hesitate to come down to the swamp 
send me a message, shoot me an email, and we can schedule some time together so that we can work through the problem. But also, if you'd like me to come help out in your classroom, we can do that as well. But as always, I appreciate everything you guys are doing to help our students. And remember, it's great to be a Gator.